Love be told. Tens of inspiration playing hooky, making something Love out of nothing. The need to express, to communicate, so going against the grain, going insane, Love going be mad. Love Love be tension, no pension. To more than one dimension, Love starving boy. for attention, hating convention, hating potential. Okay, I'm Jacqueline, Jacqueline Breakwell, and I'm playing Maureen. I started going to CAP, and I would talk to people I didn't know a lot of musicals, and because uh, I was a rock and roll chick, they were like, well, you might like Rent then, because it actually has some rock going. Hedwig and the Angry Inch would probably be my favorite musical. I, I wish I was a boy just so I could do that musical. <laughs> the thing that stands out the most about Rent is just uh, getting the call that I got the part. That was great feeling, huh? Yeah, it was amazing. I did the call back, and then I went to rehearsal for another show I was in, and then I was like, oh, I just have to go to the bathroom, uh, and I got the call from Ryan that said I got it, and I pretty much died and had to go back into rehearsal and pretend nothing had happened. So I can tell you, I knew. Okay, we were doing the dance audition, and uh, it was really cramped in the room because there was like the pole in the middle and everything. And so Jen was behind me, and we were doing a roll on the ground or something, and she slapped my ass by accident. And I was sure like, was. I knew it. <laughs> it's me and that's her. That's you. And so she, she's uh, Joe? Yeah, she's my Joe. A one, two, three, and that's boom, he said. Ever since the cat took up the fiddle, that cow's been <coughs> jumpy. And the dish and the spoon were evicted from the table and eloped. She's had trouble with her milk and the moon ever since. Maybe it's a female thing. <laughs> Actually, I've been doing some research with uh, ancient Greek mythology having to do with cows and stuff like that. Wow. And uh, cattle in, in different religions. And I looked up trying to find some information on the uh, original nursery rhyme it's taken from and all that and finding the symbolism so it means a lot to me. So Very it'll cool. come out to the audience That's for sure. That's preparation. Yeah. Make no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Anton. I'm playing Mark. The best feature I can nail about Mark, I think, is uh, his kiki awkwardness. That's very honest. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest challenge. Um, well, he's a, one of those characters that he witnesses things and he doesn't really take part in like the real main action in the play, which is an interesting character to have in a play. Because, but, but really in their like social group, in that world, he really serves a very important purpose, I think. To but the story, it's, too. To the story. Absolutely. But it's not it's quite so obvious, so I have to do a lot of thinking about that. I love the singing. Like, the, you know, the staging is going well, I think it's, it's, but it's like, hard to know what it's like outside of the theater, but uh, the singing is amazing. Cast, the cast of Rent, a bunch of vibrant individuals. Good word. Yeah, a bunch of lively, talented, youthful people um, that like I really enjoyed get, getting to meet. Yeah. Do we get to moon the audience? Uh, do you guys get to moon the audience? We'll see. We'll see. My mother oh. is really wanting to know. Please. <laughs> no, I'm serious. She's like, Jacqueline, can you stop exposing yourself in these clothes? <laughs> you have to warn your grandparents entirely. <laughs> so just so we can warn the grandparents. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'll put a tattoo on it for you. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Jen Serratos. I'm playing Joanne in Rent. When you did the auditions, uh, did you find somebody in the room that you went? That's my Maureen. <laughs> Let me think. To tell you the truth, I went in with a friend, and we were really hoping that we would be, you know, Maureen and Joanne. Um, didn't work out, but I love her, and I did actually feel a really big connection with um, Jacqueline. So I wasn't too surprised that we got picked. We just we clicked. I she said that you slapped her ass. <laughs> I might have slapped her ass. There were many moments like that. I think it all in a good way. Um, when we first came, there was a Sean Parsons who's who's playing um, in our ensemble, and he's understudying Angel. Came up full, like full dressed heels. He looked beautiful, and it was when I was I first stopped. I was like, they're doing rent. Like rent is gonna happen. So that was one moment out of many. 
<laughs> he looked awesome too. A little cast bonding um, session. It was our second like re rehearsal. We weren't rehearsing. And we all went out and sang karaoke. Of course, everybody is an amazing singer, so that was like cool. And the, who was the best? Don't be biased. No word of a lie, the best karaoke singer, Ryan Mooney. Just gonna say that, okay? That is perfect. <laughs> Two handcrafted beers made in local breweries. Two yogurt, two yogurt, two rice and beans and cheese. Two leather, two dildos, two curry mandalu. Two huevos rancheros, two maya and jalu. Emotion, devotion, to causing a commotion. Creation, vacation, mucho masturbation. I've known some of these people for eight years, eight or nine years. Sweet. So not everybody, lots of new people. Lots of people that I've known but never worked with, and uh, and some people that I've worked with before. What roles we had numerous options, which is rare a lot of times, especially in musicals, especially with musicals that have really uh, strong male leads. You sort of get one person, and you're like, well, at least we found one person. But uh, but with this, we've we've really been able to uh, to have our, our pick. No, I mean everyone everyone's getting along really well. We don't have any divas in the cast. We don't have anyone who causes trouble in the cast. We have people who like to talk a lot, but other than that, uh, you know, the, the show is very special and then this situation is very special to, to be, you know, to be one of the first companies to ever do this show that wasn't directed by Michael Greif, who was the original director. That's a very exciting thing to be a part of. The most exciting thing for us is being able to do it in a small venue like Presentation House and really go back to the root of the show. I mean, it was originally done off-Broadway in a 150-seat theater. Yeah. So we've got, we walk. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You teach? I teach. Computer-age philosophy. But my students would rather watch TV. America. 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 You're, okay, so let's go to there now. All right? My name is Arnie Larson. Um, I'm in the ensemble. I'm understudying Tom Collins. My name is Kathy Wilmot. I'm in the ensemble. I'm also Joanne's understudy. My name is Andrea and I'm understudying Swinging for Maureen. Uh, my name is Sharon on Crandall. I will be playing, uh, I'm Swing, actually, in this uh, production of Rent. No Santa Claus, no Yule Dog, no Tinsel, no Holly, no Art, no Rudolph the Red no super jazzed about being in the cast and being part of Rent because no one ever thought that someone would put Rent on I think. Here so, in Vancouver. Yes and so everybody's just super excited to be in the show and yeah. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful. The, the, the music is beautiful, the story is beautiful. Um, it's a timeless story. It's um, the message is, is as strong today I think as it was when the, when the show was first written. Fantastic. Uh, as an ensemble performer um, I'll always love singing the solo part in Seasons of Love. It's a beautiful song. Um, and I'm looking forward to the uh, on-the-street scene, and uh, I think that'll be a real fun one to play. For me, it's the fact that I'm understudying two parts. Because mm, I, look, I look like such a loser. I've got like three pencils in my hair and two highlighters and flipping back pages. <laughs> um, I think the music is very poignant, the lyrics are very poignant, the music is very catchy, um, it's songs that stay in your head forever. We've got an incredible cast, I mean straight on from day one it was like, <gasps> this is going to be a good show, you know, like you have that feeling, right, when, you ha when you're in a show? show? Yeah, so this is one of those, definitely. The bonding between the cast just happened. It really did. It's like, it's like a family, it really is. What do you think of your director? Love him. You don't have to be that nice. Okay, I hate his guts. <laughs> okay, that's staying in. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryan and I have been trying to work together for like two years and finally it's come true. Wait, Wait. just one last thing. Who's best at karaoke? Um, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan was pretty good, but he was a bit of a diva because he didn't want anybody else to sing along to Pinball Wizard. <laughs> So you do have a diva in the cast. Just a little. It's the director. It's the director. Okay. Who's the best at karaoke? Who's the best? Me. I was the best <laughs> at karaoke. Sex drive the people. Turn down the wall. Aren't we all? Viva la vie!